G'day, well I made a quick stop at the fruit and veg shop this morning and this is what I bought. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you what I bought at the fruit and veggie shop this morning. I've spread it all out here on the table to show you. I'll tell you what I spent and then I will pack it all into the fridges. So over here I bought a large bucket of tomatoes. So they're really nice and firm. So they'll last a fair while. I bought three bunches of broccolini. These are so beautiful and fresh, really firm, really crunchy, so the kids are going to love that. I bought a big bucket of Granny Smith apples. So all of this fruit gets used in the kids' school lunch boxes or for afternoon teas. Look how many bananas I've got. I've got some that were marked down and then the slightly more expensive ones. I bought two bags of carrots, a big bucket of mandarins, three lots of mushrooms. Now again when you buy them as a single item they were about $17.99 per kilo and the pre-packed ones here are only $12.99 per kilo, so saving quite a bit of money by buying the pre-packed ones. Lovely crunchy green pears. Some gala apples. and some oranges. Now around this side of the table we've got some potatoes. So I've got a three kilo bag of the red potatoes. These are the ones that I normally cook as Hasselback potatoes where you cut them in half and then you slice them thinly and you season them and bake them in the oven. This is a five kilo bag of brushed potatoes, so we normally use these for um, steaming or mashing. And then here's a three kilo bag of white washed potatoes. These ones I just like to cook in the jacket and we have them with some sour cream or some butter. Now over here we've got two of these lovely lemon cakes. They look really delicious and then we haven't tried these ones before. These are apple cakes and you can see all the beautiful slices of apple over the top of those. So I look forward to trying those. Here is a packet of carob buds. I like to use these in cooking. Carob is kind of like a chocolate alternative. This is a little packet of ginger thins. These are little thin biscuits. They are great with a cup of coffee. And speaking of coffee, here's a little bottle of coffee flavoured milk. Now we've got one kilo of ham. These we use on sandwiches. I've got two containers of sour cream and one knob of chicken meat. And it's been a little bit hard to find the potato gems in the supermarkets at the moment, but I managed to get four bags here of potato gems. So they, I think, are called tater tots in other countries, but here we call them potato gems. Now, I bought quite a bit of bread this morning. A lot of this will go into the freezer and we'll just pull it out and thaw it as needed. But I got one, two, three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loaves of white sliced and I bought two loaves of the multigrain. Now this is a sugarloaf cabbage and I loved this pumpkin. This is a Kensington pumpkin but they don't normally look like this. It's sort of shaped more like a butternut pumpkin but it's still a Kensington pumpkin so I was fascinated with the shape that it was so so tall and um, so I just had to buy that particular pumpkin because I thought it was really cute. <laughs> now I bought two sweet potatoes here is a bag of boiled peanuts, everybody's favourite around here. These do not last long. Once the bag gets opened, they disappear very fast. Again, you can save a little bit of money by buying the pre-packed zucchinis. And then I got three continental cucumbers and a few onions. So what did I spend on all this lovely fruit and veg? I spent $263.10, which I think is a great price for all this beautiful produce. Now I'm going to get all of this into the fridges. Get the cold things put away as well. and the potatoes put into the pantry.
Thanks for watching. God bless.